Welcome to the video. And in this one, we'll be talking about Disney joining the metaverse race. We'll also be talking about Web3 gaming as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. All right, so as you guys know, I worked at Alluvium and finished up a $72 million land sale with them. Um, if you didn't know that, now you do. And it was during obviously the bear market, which is absolutely crazy. But with that being said, I'm super bullish on Web3 gaming. And when I see Disney uh, launch a accelerator program in Polygon as one of the platforms that are in the accelerator program and Disney doubling down on the metaverse race, this really gets me even more excited about Web3 gaming. So as you know, like I said, I've worked for a Web3 game gaming company and uh, I've talked to many projects in the space as well. And I know many different um, you know, influencers, content creators, and what have you in the space, as I got to network with them on different occasions and jump on with all, many different projects. So with that being aside, it's just very interesting to see where the space is going. And when you see the stats that gaming is the number one form of entertainment over music and movies, that is a big deal. And it's going to continue to grow year over year. And this predictions, I think we're actually in before Meta even announced that they're changing their name from Facebook to Meta and basically going to launch their own metaverse and all that. So in my opinion, I think the predictions are fall a little short. And I think games are going to continue to dominate. And obviously, mobile games as well. I think that's one that's very overlooked. And you know, Vivi, they're focusing on mobile games, it seems like. And I think there'll be more of an emphasis there because with iPhones, we see the ability with augmented reality and we see Niantic doing moves over there as well. We know that there's Pokemon Go. That's kind of what jump started and launched Niantic essentially. And I think this will continue to be a trend and it only makes sense for uh, these companies to have Web3 applications, whether that's you know, short term, long term, I think everybody's going to go in that direction. We know that uh, Bob Iger, former CEO of Disney, has partnered up or is a advisor to a degree uh, of Genies. And Genies is a Web3 company focused on, you know, personalization of avatars and things like that in the metaverse. We also know that Disney is also working with their metaverse in uh, launching and going to be a part of Disney Plus platform. So with that being said, I am super bullish on Web3 Gaming, and I know bullish is like cliche, but I really wanted to reiterate that. So if you see more content from me surrounding games and Web3, this is basically why. Like I am super bullish on it, as you guys know, but I, I really feel the same about Web3 Games as I felt about Vivi early, you know, March, really February is when I started really digging into Vivi, maybe even January, but my first video dropped in March as you all know, but I, I'm getting the same vibes in Web3, and I've always felt that way, even when I joined VV early on and got back into Web3 and crypto, is that I knew games were going to dominate when I knew that statistic that games were the number one form of entertainment. And I see that going to be a, a trend for the foreseeable future with the metaverse. You know, all these companies doing their own metaverses, and there's going to be hopefully interoperability as well. Um, it, you know, things are going to look different short term than they will long term, of course. I mean, there's going to be little nuances, and, you know, we won't have full interoperability. And to me, that's okay. But I'm a gamer and I love to game, and that's what matters to me most. But when I'm seeing more and more titles drop, and I see more and more. Uh, the quality basically bar keep going up and up. Uh, this is how I know this is where this is the future essentially. And I think it's going to be vastly important to have utility with some of these early NFTs that we're collecting, even platforms like Vivi that I think it is kind of written in, you know, on the wall for me personally, that we will see some more types of utility with these NFTs, whether that be Marvel Mighties, or whatever they could even drop new ones you know that are specifically designed for games if not marvel mighties they could do something in the future or they could do an arcade you know in the vv verse or in the vv your vv showrooms where they have an actual arcade or an actual you know console where you walk up to in the vv verse and you sit down you play it with other people or you know versus the ai or whatever right even basic things like Asteroid or Frogger or something like that. It could be super simple, basic applications. But with all that being said, I am super bullish on Web3 Gaming and all the IPs that we know and love. They all have games. They all have things they're doing. And I think this is the future. 
So I know this was more of a talking head video, but I just wanted to put that out there because from the very beginning, I actually built this channel, obviously uh, came back from retirement, did a lot of VV content, but really on the back burner, been playing a lot of NFT games, Web3 games and what have you, and been buying up cheap uh, Web3 game NFTs out there. There's a lot of stuff in this bear market that is seriously undervalued. And I even see projects too, they're building in the bear market, which is amazing to see. And they have bright futures, you know, mobile games, especially because, you know, more people around the world can play those games. People don't have, you know, these powerful super computers, right? They have mobile phones, they have, you know, all different kinds of brands. And this is what we see around the world. So that's another thing why I think Axie obviously blew up as people had more access to it and things like that. So when I see browser-based games or I see mobile games, I get really excited about those. And it's more inclusive to a degree when it comes to that. Um, so there's a lot of little things I'm looking at when it, in terms of projects. It's not always the best quality game because even then we've seen from traditional gaming that sometimes those games may fail you know those best quality games actually will fail in some cases so um it's not always the best quality right it's the games that people can have fun there's a fun game loop and uh, people have access to it so there's a lot of different nuances and factors there in terms of what makes a game successful or not but that's really all I got for this video. Um, so if you do see more gaming content, don't be surprised. I actually have a dedicated game channel as well, Web3 Games. Uh, you can just find it here on my channel if you're interested in clicking over where I do streams. And I'm going to be focusing on gameplay like that um, and obviously like live streams. But occasionally, I will still stream on this channel as well. I, I still want to play games here and introduce you to Web3 Gaming. And uh, But yeah, for the most part, my main Web3 Gaming channel will be on Kyle Wilson NFT Gaming. I may change that name. I don't know. But uh, that's kind of the status update for me. That's all I wanted to show you or tell you, rather. But with that being said, you know what to do if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you at the next video and at the blockchain. Be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.